Hello there. Well, it's early October, summer's over. Uh, I haven't made a video for uh, a month or so. It's been a strange summer really because uh, we had this drought and very hot weather, river levels very low. We stopped fishing because uh, the river levels had got so low. I had a bout of sciatica, which uh, put me out of action for about six weeks. And uh, I had the Open Studio exhibition, Hampshire Open Studio, which uh, went very well, but that was 10 days out. Um, I did make a, a short video of that. But now I'm preparing for another exhibition. I'm one of 12 artists. We call ourselves the New Forest Painters. And we've got an exhibition uh, in Lyndhurst uh, in a couple of weeks time. And uh, Lyndhurst is the capital of the New Forest, which is in Hampshire, um, not far from Southampton. Now there's always a lot of work to do to get an exhibition together. Um, I'm putting in 22 paintings, uh, several prints, and uh, I shall probably sell some uh, 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 little greeting cards as well of my paintings. Now all I've really got to do now is finish this little painting here. Um, it looks finished perhaps but uh, to make a, a fish look really lifelike underwater you really need it's that finishing touches which I'll show you. Um, it will be mainly coloured glazes uh, to give the fish some life. Now I've never had any formal training uh, in art, I just picked it up from friends and uh, reading about it and I believe that uh, the old artists years ago used to build up their paintings with lots of glazes and uh, I think they just used the pigments and then they used uh, varnishes uh, which obviously take a long while to dry. So I use this liquid which is it's a reducer, it uh, makes the the uh, paint soft but it also helps it to dry it's a, it's, a, it's a drying agent as well so by just adding a little bit of pigment uh, but it's basically it's a, a, a almost a transparent glaze and it's very useful for going over paintings that are dry now you can apply these glazes several times uh, and you can sort of build up a, a, a sort of a strength in the painting uh, by using these very sort of weak pigments but uh, one on top of the other starts to build up a sort of a depth to the uh, to the artwork. Now the liquid uh, dries within 12 hours or so um, so you can keep applying these uh, extra glazes. You can see uh, I've really got this sort of very pale sort of orangey. Uh, you can see right through it, it's, it's very thin, but it gradually builds up. And then finally, I shall probably, probably go over the whole of the canvas uh, um, with the same types of glaze. I'm uh, exhibiting several of these fish this uh, October, so uh, It'd be quite interesting to see what they look like all together in a row. I always like uh, fish, there's something about them. You have to use a lot of imagination uh, with what they might look like underwater. I've taken photographs of fish uh, when, after I've caught them, before I put them back. Um, uh, but it's not easy to get a good reference of a fish. You've got to rather know the fish and uh, you use your imagination to a great deal. Now I'm just putting some highlights in with, with almost pure white. Now there's my marl stick which uh, is used as a hand dressed. I don't want to mess the eye up. And I'm putting the uh, the small spines that these little perch have which uh, can prick you very hard if you're not careful. Well I don't think I can do much more with that one now I've just got to leave it to dry uh, because I've used liquid uh, it should dry quite quickly and then I need an overall uh, varnish just to bring it all together 
and I think that's all I can do anyway uh, hope you enjoyed this short video if you did please click a like maybe subscribe goodbye for now